Chapter 5 The Journey's Trials Amidst the twists and turns of the labyrinth, Percy Jackson, Annabeth Chase, Grover Underwood, and the resolute hunters of Artemis embarked on a journey riddled with trials that tested their mettle and camaraderie. The promise of the Golden Fleece and the salvation of Artemis fueled their determination, while the echoes of mythological encounters lingered in their hearts. Navigating the labyrinthine passages, the group encountered an assortment of challenges. They faced riddles posed by sphinxes, their minds pitted against the cunning of these mythical creatures. Drawing upon their diverse strengths and knowledge, Percy's group and the hunters managed to unravel the enigmas, demonstrating the power of unity and cooperation. Their path led them through shifting landscapes that mirrored the whims of ancient gods. At one moment, they found themselves in a lush garden where they encountered the sorceress Circe. With her enchanting words and beguiling demeanor, she tried to sway their resolve, yet Percy's steadfast determination to save Artemis and lift the curse kept them from falling under her spell. As they ventured deeper, the labyrinth unveiled a mirage-like realm where time seemed to stand still. Here, they faced the sinister challenge of encountering their worst fears brought to life. Yet, with unwavering courage and mutual support, they emerged from this ordeal unscathed, realizing that their collective strength was greater than any individual weakness. The labyrinth's passages also bore witness to the group's profound friendships. Talia and Annabeth, once estranged due to the complexities of their past, found common ground and reconciliation. This act of forgiveness symbolized the healing power of their shared journey and the unbreakable bonds they had formed. The climax of their trials came as they stood before the entrance to the heart of the labyrinth, guarded by the dragon laden. Drawing inspiration from the tales of old, they devised a strategy that allowed Percy and the hunters to distract the dragon, while Annabeth and Grover sneaked inside. Their harmonious efforts and clever tactics bore fruit, granting them passage into the labyrinthine center. Amid the intricate twists of their journey, Percy Jackson, Annabeth Chase, Grover Underwood, and the valiant hunters of Artemis discovered the true essence of teamwork. They overcame challenges that mirrored the myriad facets of their strengths and weaknesses, demonstrating that their collective spirit was the beacon that guided them through the labyrinth's intricate paths. As they ventured deeper into the labyrinth's core, the tantalizing presence of the Golden Fleece awaited them. The culmination of their trials and tribulations was within reach, promising the power to heal, save, and unravel the curse that bound the destiny of Artemis and the fate of the gods. The heart of the labyrinth held the key to their quest, a testament to the enduring power of friendship, resilience, and the unwavering pursuit of hope. Chapter 6 Showdown with the Titan The heart of the labyrinth beckoned, its intricate passages leading Percy Jackson, Annabeth Chase, Grover Underwood, and the steadfast hunters of Artemis toward their final destination, the Golden Fleece. Their journey had been one of trials, bonds, and mythic encounters, and now the climactic moment was upon them. As they advanced, the labyrinth seemed to pulse with ancient energy, as if the very threads of destiny converged at this pivotal juncture. 
At last, they stood before the coveted golden fleece, its radiant glow casting an otherworldly light upon their determined faces. Yet, their triumph was overshadowed by a sense of unease. The curse that bound Artemis and the Titan's destiny still loomed. Their quest had brought them to this pivotal moment to lift the curse and restore the goddess Artemis, but also to confront Atlas, the titan who held the weight of the sky upon his shoulders. With the golden fleece in hand, Percy's group and the hunters prepared for the ultimate showdown. Before them stood Atlas, a towering figure whose eyes bore the weight of millennia. His voice echoed like distant thunder, filled with ancient grudges and a thirst for power. The titan's curse had woven his fate with that of Artemis, and his intentions were nothing short of manipulating the prophecy to his advantage. A battle of words and wills ensued. Atlas' persuasive arguments threatened to shatter their resolve, but Percy's group remained anchored by their unyielding determination to save Artemis and defy the predictions of the prophecy. As Atlas attempted to manipulate fate, Percy's unshakable belief in their bonds and the righteousness of their cause proved to be a formidable force. The confrontation escalated into a dramatic clash of strength and wits. Grover's connection with nature, Annabeth's strategic brilliance, and the combined power of the hunters showcased the might of unity. Percy, with his strength as a demigod and his unique connection to water, stood at the forefront, his heart infused with courage and a burning desire to protect his friends and the world from the titan's schemes. Amidst the chaos of the battle, Artemis was freed from her captivity, her grace and might joining the fray. The goddess channeled her fury and strength into the battle, unleashing the full force of her divine power upon Atlas. As the final clash reached its zenith, Percy, empowered by their shared journey, managed to subdue the titan and break the curse that had plagued them all. With the titan's curse shattered and Atlas defeated, the threads of fate were rewoven. As the Golden Fleece's magical healing powers revitalized the land, a sense of triumph and relief enveloped Percy's group and the hunters. Their quest, fraught with challenges, revelations, and friendships, had reshaped the destiny of gods and mortals alike. The echoes of the prophecy still lingered, a reminder of the paths they had walked and the choices they had made. Yet, in their victory, there was a newfound sense of hope and possibility. Percy Jackson, Annabeth Chase, Grover Underwood, and the valiant hunters of Artemis had proven that even in the face of ancient curses and formidable titans, the bonds of friendship, determination, and the pursuit of a better future could triumph against all odds. As they looked toward the horizon, their hearts were filled with the promise of new adventures, mythic discoveries, and the enduring strength of their unbreakable fellowship. Conclusion The Triumph of Friendship and Destiny As the echoes of battle faded and the weight of their journey's trials lifted, Percy Jackson, Annabeth Chase, Grover Underwood, and the hunters of Artemis stood amidst the aftermath of their showdown with the Titan Atlas. The golden fleece, its radiant light now tinged with the colors of dawn, symbolized their hard-fought victory and the promise of a new beginning. The curse that had bound Artemis was shattered, her grace and strength restored to her.
The campfires of Camp Half-Blood and the luminous stars above bore witness to their success, as the destinies of gods and mortals realigned in the wake of their triumph. Amidst the scars of battle, the friendships forged on this epic quest shone brighter than ever. Percy, Annabeth, Grover, and the hunters of Artemis found themselves forever connected by the threads of their shared journey. The trials they had faced had not only tested their courage, but had also revealed the depths of their loyalty and resilience. As they gathered amidst the ruins of their final battle, a sense of accomplishment mingled with a bittersweet realization that their paths would soon diverge. Talia Grace, the once estranged friend, smiled at Annabeth, a silent acknowledgement of their renewed bond. Grover's laughter echoed, a testament to his connection with the world of nature, while Percy's gaze lingered on the horizon, his thoughts a mixture of relief and anticipation. The Golden Fleece, its power of restoration still palpable, lay at their feet, a tangible reminder of the choices they had made and the sacrifices they had endured. It was a beacon of hope, not only for their present, but for the future of the world they knew. As the sun climbed higher in the sky, casting its warm glow upon them, Percy's group and the hunters of Artemis shared a silent moment. In that shared silence, their unspoken gratitude and respect for one another spoke volumes. Their journey had come to an end, but the echoes of their adventure would reverberate in their hearts for years to come. With the promise of new stories, new friendships, and new horizons, they turned to face the future, ready to embrace whatever challenges and wonders lay ahead. The bonds they had forged in the crucible of their quest would forever serve as a reminder that even in the face of the most daunting trials, the power of friendship, unity, and the unwavering pursuit of hope could overcome even the mightiest of challenges. And so, as the sun's warmth enveloped them and the winds of destiny whispered through the trees, Percy Jackson, Annabeth Chase, Grover Underwood, and the valiant hunters of Artemis set forth into the world, forever marked by their epic journey, and forever bound by the unbreakable thread of their shared tale.